Hello, my name is Peter Hart, former competitor, starboard team rider, and now professional coach. And this is my quiver for the UK and abroad. I have a 105 code, and then three ultra codes, 100, 93, and 86. So starting with the code, this is my baby. I use this more than any other board. If I'm going abroad to do a clinic and I only take one board, this covers so many bases, like somewhere I know in Mauritius where I'll be messing around on flat water, carving with people, and then suddenly we'll head out in the waves and it'll operate just as well there. So it covers so many bases. At home, typical onshore conditions where it's like 15-ish knots and you need a bit of speed and a bit of get up and go. I'll load that up with a 6-2 blade and off we go. So generally, that's the biggest set I use with it. I know it will take bigger, but I find if you load them too big, you kind of unplug them a bit. It sinks the rails a bit deep and they get cat. Six two's perfect, down to about five three if it's really breezy. Now, onto my wave quiver. Now, where a lot of people go wrong, I think they go too small too soon with their wave kit. So they go from their free ride board, and the next board is, I don't know, 85 or 90, which means it's wind driven. So they're having to deal with a whole new style of sailing and a load of wind. So for me, the 100, although it seems like a little bit of an overlap with here, they're two quite different boards. So this is the board I'll use when we get a proper swell, proper wave and I'll need to get out there, maybe not much wind, which makes the most ideal wave sailing conditions because the, the waves aren't messed up. And then when you get on the wave, this is as loose as anything. A hundred sounds a lot, but if you look at the outlines, they're pretty much the same. Starboard have just got really good at hiding the volume in places where you don't notice it until you stop. So that's the hundred. 93, now generally the one wave board, if you just want one, is your weight, plus maybe five in litres. So for me, that is around a 93. So if I just wanted one, that would be the one that covered the most bases. With that one there, I'd probably use 5.7 down to 5.3. Here, it will take a 5.7, but 5.3 uh, probably down to 4.7. And it, it very rarely gets out of control. It's got enough float to get out. And actually, it was a day only a couple of weeks ago. It sounds quite big, where it was 4.7 weather, but very holy. And sometimes, well, very often actually, you get big holes when you've got the, around the impact zone and that extra bit of float gets you through those uh, holes and stops you being trashed, even though 93 sounds quite big for a 4.7. So that's an excellent all-rounder. The 86, well, it's a dream bit of kit, really. I use it with 3.7, 4.2, 4.7, solid, full-on conditions at home like we've been having with Eunice right, lately. Didn't, I mean, Everyone was out of control, but I couldn't believe that this actually stayed on the water. Uh, so light under the feet, so nimble. Um, so that's my quiver. If I, to pare it down, I'd go 105, 93 would cover most of the conditions, but having the two extra, well, that's the dream ticket.